Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get stable performance in Wuthering Waves dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I have put a lot of efforts in figuring out these settings. So let's get started without wasting any more time. All right, step number one, we'll be starting as usual with the best Windows settings because optimizing your PC is our first step. Head over to settings on your PC and once you're here, go down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned on consumes a lot of CPU usage and GPU usage in the background because it keeps on running overlay services. Disabling that will help you to get rid of that. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by disabling unnecessary services and applications off in the background and also disable that unwanted notifications popping up while you're playing your game and that will help you focus on your game and improve the performance right away. After that, head down to the graphics settings and then click on the change default graphics settings over here. And I want you guys to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as it will help you to reduce your input and render latency. After that, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here. And now you guys have to go to the download location of your game. And if you guys are unaware of it, you can simply go to the settings gear over here and then copy the game directory right over here. Simply copy this file path and then paste it right over here. And once you are in here, what you have to do is head over to client binaries win64 and you'll find client win64 shipping.exe. You have to click on add and once that is added, head over to options and then select high performance right over here. Then click on save. Before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to a very simple yet efficient tool that is 4D DIG disk copy. You can come to this page from the link in the description below and simply click on the free download button over here and download a very simple program that looks like this. And over here, you'll see two simple features. First one is cloning your disk and second one is cloning a partition. If you want to create backup of your disk onto an SSD or if you're planning to just keep a backup of your data. Now, first you have to select your source disk. That is in my case will be disk three as it contains my C drive. Then clicking on the next button, I have to select the target disk where I want to store my data or backup it. That will be disk zero over here. And then simply clicking on next, it will start wiping all of the data off my disk and creating a complete one-to-one -one backup of all of the data onto the new disk. It is a one-click task, which you guys can do right over here. It is really good if you guys are willing to take backups or if you're planning to move your data from your hard disk drive to an SSD. Once again, this tool is really beneficial for all of you guys who are involved in content creation or you are traveling and you just want backup of your data. You can go check out 4D DIG disk copy from the link in the description below. Let's move ahead. Next step is the compatibility settings. And for that, you have to go to the same directory folder over here and then head over to client binaries win64 and then right click on win64 shipping.exe. Click on the properties button, head over to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. After that, click on change high DPI settings and then select this option over here. Click on OK, click on apply and and close it. Step number three is deanimating your windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here click on custom and then enable save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. The rest all of those options have to be disabled. This will help you to maintain your initial look of windows intact while you guys will reduce all unnecessary and unwanted animations that consumes your CPU and your GPU. Right after that head over to the advanced tab over here and and for the processor scheduling, you have to set it to programs. And for the virtual memory, click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size. After that, I would want you guys to open up your calculator and also look for system information on your PC. Now, once you're here, look for your installed physical memory that is around 32 GB for me. Simply close it, multiply that with 1024. So you'll get your memory in megabytes. After that, this value should be divided by two and the new value over here should be pasted in maximum size. After that, click on set. Click on OK and here is how it works. Once your physical RAM is completely utilized, it will use your storage that is your hard disk drive or your SSD as a virtual memory to help you improve the performance. Simply click on OK and now let's move to the next step that is creating a restore point. For that simply search for create a restore point over here 
and then look for local disk C. Click on create and name it Wuthering Waves just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and then click on OK. Next step is Wuthering Waves FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This pack is really important because this will help you to change a few settings on your PC that will help you improve the performance of your games. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority over here in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Both priorities will help you to optimize your CPU's performance, set up the correct SFIO priority, and help you improve your gameplay. Second one is RAM optimization and it does the same thing but for your RAM. It will help you to set up the correct D word for your RAM on your registry and I have left a ton of preset according to your memory. I have 32GB RAM registry for myself over here and you can pick one according to your PC's configuration. Once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to default over here. Third folder is the most important one which should not be skipped, that is Wuthering Waves priority right over here, in which you'll find above normal and high priority. And for this, I would want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here. Fourth one is PC optimization in which I have left three simple batch files. Let's start with the first one that you can edit in notepad to see what other changes it is going to do on your PC. The batch files basically have only one single job and that is to apply some command prompts onto your PC that will be executed automatically without you having to type them manually in. This will help you to reduce your input latency and the way you can run it is by right clicking them and running them as administrator. I have already done that. Second one is a memory compression and this is a very simple process on your PC which consumes a lot of your CPU and RAM usage in the background. Disabling that will help you to free up that and it will also help you to benefit in the FPS. Last is process mitigation and it will help you to reduce your CPU load. As you guys can see, it runs a PowerShell command on your PC and once again, you have to run all three of them as administrator and it will help you to optimize your PC drastically. Last one is the important programs over here and in here you'll find unpack CPU. You have to right click and run this as administrator. And here is how this program actually works. Windows by default has a tendency to put the cores which are no longer in use in hibernation. Once again, these hibernated cores are no longer performing and this will cause performance issues while you're playing your games. And to fix that, you'll find something called system power plan over here. And if you have ultimate performance in this list, go for that or you can go for high performance. Click on set as active. And then for the core parking index, you have to slide it all the way up to 100% and then click on OK. Click on OK and then close it. This will help you to ensure that all of your system cores are running and you are not losing any performance while you're playing the games. Once that is done, simply close your FPS pack and now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings possible. Alright, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to your settings gear right over here. Then in the master volume, you can adjust it to yourself. Scroll a little bit down until you find the graphics section over here and the graphics quality should be set to custom. Screen mode should always be set to full screen. Frame rate. You can set it up to 60. V-Sync should be turned off. Special effects quality go with low. Shadow quality, you can go with lower or medium. LOD bias low. Capsule AO off. Volumetric fog off. Volumetric lightning off. Motion blur off. Nvidia DLSS, if you have an Nvidia graphic card, you guys can enable it. It will add up a little bit of input latency, but I don't think that it really matters because this is not a very competitive game. So you guys can enable NVIDIA DLSS and super resolution you can go with quality over here. Or if you have AMD FSR3, you can go for balanced or quality again. But if the input latency bugs you and you don't want extra FPS, you can simply turn this thing off and go for a more competitive gameplay with less input latency. It's really your preference. Anti-aliasing should be turned off. Bloom should also be turned off. However, if you want to see your enemies better, you can turn it on. It just costs a little bit of FPS. Nvidia Reflex, go with on plus boost if that is available for your PC. Crowd density, go with low. Enemy hit flash on. Damage numbers on. Physics based animation, you can turn this thing off. Doesn't really add a lot of animations in your game or a lot of details, but it definitely helps you to add additional 5 to 10% FPS in the game. After that, go down to the third settings that is gameplay over here 
and then you have to check a few settings over here first one is combat camera correction you guys have to turn this thing on assisted aiming you can turn this thing on as well and that is it you can simply close it and go back into the game and now you guys will see a consistent frame rate while you play the game so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me grow the channel we are already really close to 210,000 subscribers and with your support we can definitely reach there we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out